Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I want to start off this video by thanking everybody who continues to watch my life story video. I can't believe it's up to a thousand views for me and thinking about how I was strongly considering not even posting it. It's just really cool. It's really cool to see comments of people who have uh, watched for years or I actually kind of like it when people are like, I don't actually like your MCOC videos, but I liked this video because <laughs> that means they watched. How cool is that? Uh, when it comes to videos in this community, some videos are obviously what I'm going to make uh, when there, there's breaking news on the forums, when there's a new champion, when someone's hyped up, when there's a bug that's causing players pain, when there's a really exciting crystal opening someone submits that they want me to react to. You know, all those are standard videos on the channel, but sometimes I get inspiration from surprising places. And today, because I'm attacking Thronebreaker Event Quest difficulty for the first time because for, I believe, Paragon and Valiant players, it's Event Quest Completion Day. I started off with the Mutant Path, which traditionally I hate. I used to do Domino Heavies with Red Hulk and Masakre, but it became kind of annoying because there's a small window to get the Furies once you become unblockable, and when I would go to charge in for attacks, I would oftentimes get intercepted and lose massive health with Domino, and that would make me feel dumb. And so what I decided to do was not bring in any mutant champs, but technically Deadpool X-Force because of the restoration kit synergy with Nick Fury, and instead bring in OG Black Panther so that my attacks with my specials were unblockable, and the unblockable would not make me lose 20% damage. That worked really well. And so then I said, well, the next path is cosmic. Why don't I keep OG Black Panther in my questing lineup and swap out Captain America Infinity War, which is kind of the first time I've done that. So this is my questing lineup, the usual Hulk synergy, because if you have seven star Hulk and you're not using him, you're literally costing yourself the opportunity to do better at this game. And if you have Hercules, you're really costing yourself. Uh, Nick Fury and Deadpool X Force, as previously discussed, and then OG Black Panther for the unblockables. And, and I've just realized how much more I've enjoyed this synergy team because when I get the defender in the corner, I can just do an unblockable special one or special two and there's nothing that they can do about it. And usually they do go to block because the AI is so quick to block Hercules specials now that if you don't have the unblockable on, you can easily get blocked and have it turn into a counter. So relics also, of course, help with this. I link to a relic, and then when I get to a special two, again, they're usually in the corner, and so then I'll just wait. Yeah, she evaded the first hit, but she's not going to evade every part of it, and so it's just very relaxing for me. And yes, I don't get the armor breaks, but the damage is still so good with Hulk because of that synergy that I don't really miss them because the damage is still about the same as if there were a bunch of armor breaks stacked on. And so I just can't help but think that this is my new synergy team going forward because I'm aggressive enough when I fight with Hercules that that corner uh, situation becomes very common. And I don't know, like, call me corny, but... It's fun when I figure out a new Synergy team that I use that I like more than the old one. It just is. Now, I have noticed that uh, Root is in a lot of boss fights. And if you follow my channel, you know I am not a big fan of Root. Partially because I'm just not very good at it. And I probably can dex this, but I'm just going to block him. This boss fight is obviously not for the faint of heart because of, um, well, the way that the damage is scaled. So I'll probably actually quit out of this so I don't do a thousand hits to get this boss down and probably just bring in Nick Fury next. But this is, um, this is my new favorite synergy team. I don't think I am going to go anywhere without OG Black Panther right now because this effect, getting the defender in the corner... And just going ham, not spider ham, but ham, not also ham right now. That's just so much fun. Let's see if we can dex this. Woo -hoo. No, didn't dex the second one. I don't know why that's so tricky for me. I'm probably the only YouTuber that struggles with that, and it's kind of pathetic. 
or I was going to quit out, but might as well get some. By the way, the unblockable of the special two, you just get for all specials, no matter what health you're at with OG Black Panther. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push him, and then when he goes to special three, I just quit out. And with the root, wow, he didn't fire it. That's crazy. But my unblockable is gone, so now I'll just let myself get knocked out with the recoil right there. Boom. And I'll take the rest of this fight off camera because it's just a waste of your time. Um, okay, so OG Black Panther. I tried it for the, the specific nodes of Chapter 1, and now I'm like, why should I ditch this? So, yay! Now, am I going to take my 7 star to rank 2? Probably not. Um, but maybe I should. Maybe I'm an idiot for not doing that. Also, there are more nodes now that I feel like need bleed damage, and OG Black Panther has some pretty decent bleeds. So, all in all, whenever I learn... And I feel like sort of proud of myself for evolving my own content. I like to highlight that in a video on the channel. Because when you have your own channel, even if nobody watches, you can still post it. Because it's your channel. You're your own boss. You're your own editor. That's what I love about YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Again, I appreciate the support, especially on the Life Story video.